Propane tanks may just be the most misunderstood gas that we use. Roughly 600 of these a year explode. It's important that we use and store them safely. Propane, or liquid petroleum, is a liquid gas stored under pressure. When it's released, it vaporizes and turns into a combustible gas. Propane expands in heat 17 times that of water. Propane is colorless and odorless. Ethyl mercaptan, also known as rotten egg smell, is added as a safety odor to the tank. This is why propane tanks are only filled to 80% of their capacity, so they don't explode. It's a safety mechanism built in when they fill it up for you at the local propane shop. Propane will expand in the presence of heat and become denser when cold. Propane tanks are affected more by heat than cold. It's always best to keep your tanks full when in severe cold to maintain the pressure. Portable propane tanks are painted white or gray to reflect heat. I store mine in the shade when possible and never inside a closed vehicle compartment. When transporting your tanks, they need to be upright in a well-ventilated portion of the vehicle. This is a 20 pound tank, which will contain approximately 4.6 gallons of propane when full. This tank will provide six to eight hours of burn time at a 50,000 BTU burn rate, British thermal units. If you find your grill or flame is low on whatever appliance your propane is connected to, you most likely trip the safety valve. Propane tanks are equipped with an OPD or overfill protection device to prevent tanks from being overfilled and rupturing. OPD valves are required on all portable propane tanks. These valves also contain a fail-safe mechanism that will trip when they sense a free flow of gas emitting from the tank, which will reduce flow to whatever your device or appliance you're connected to, to roughly 30% of normal. You can easily inadvertently activate the safety valve if you open your tank to an appliance that's not off. If the valves on your appliance or your gas grill are on, you're going to most likely trip the OPD safety valve when you open this on an open line. Tilting a full tank of propane can also trip the valve. Prevention is simple. Simply turn off the gas valve on whatever device your hose is connected to before opening the OPD valve. Let's trip and reset the valve. I just felt the click of the plunger protrude past the safety valve and I know that I'm connected to gas. This gas line is connected to no device. It's going to represent an open line or a free flow of gas. As soon as I open this valve, there should be a click of a ball bearing within the OPD telling me that it's sensed the free flow of gas and the valve has shut itself off for safety. I have a full burst of gas coming right now. And as you heard the click, as soon as my thumb came off of there, that rotten egg smell, but there's a very, very low flow of gas coming out of here. Not enough to actually burn or cook anything on a grill. So there's your issue. When your device isn't powered up, it's because you have a very, very reduced flow of gas. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not, but you can see just a little bit of gas flowing out of there. To reset this, super simple. Just close your valve. Turn off your appliance, whatever your hose is connected to, and reopen your valve. If that doesn't work, you can always go the extra step of removing your appliance hose from the propane tank. On the off position, reset that nipple into the OPD, turn off whatever device you're connected to, and you're ready to open your tank. As a matter of practice, even though my red valve is off on the appliance that I'm connected to with this tank, I'm still gonna go ahead and open that first quarter turn of my propane valve nice and slow, and then I can speed the process up as I go. That'll avoid accidental trips as well. To maintain pressure in your propane line and make relighting your appliance or device easier the next time, Turn off your device first, your grill, your appliance, whatever you're connected to, and work your way up to the propane tank. Turn off your propane tank valve and leave this assembled for the next use. If you're not dismantling everything and packing up, the next time you come to relight this grill, this line will already have pressure in it and will even further reduce the chances that you trip this OPD valve by accident. Your propane tank is equipped with acne threads which prevent cross-threading. Hand snug is all that's required here. There's no re reason to ever put pliers on here or over tighten it. Make sure that you always have a regulator between your device and your propane tank. Appreciate your likes, comments, and subscriptions to this channel. Please watch our other content that surrounds our Trail Fire Grill. We're the only four in one portable barbecue, wok, fire pit, and pizza oven in existence. It's propane powered. You get a carbon steel wok, add a pizza stone, and you have a convection cooking oven for pizzas, chocolate chip cookies, apple pies, anything that fits will convection bake under this lid. Remove the wok and you have a full-size stainless steel grill rack. Remove that grill rack 
and you have a 50,000 BTU fire pit to keep you warm at night. Check us out at trailfiregrill.com.